Hey everybody, test test. Yeah, all right, looks good. Uh, we just got a game started. Uh, I am playing Draft 7, Ox Then Miners, uh, with uh, GS Mathages, Lushkin, and Prohel. Prohel's probably the best other player at the table and is in front of us, so a slight bummer, but not a huge problem. Uh, the only slight issue is I think Prohel I think Pro Hell knows how to draft, and I don't think the other two do, so I would expect Pro Hell's hand to be quite a bit stronger than ours by the end of this. Uh, anyhow, the opening pack here, we see a lot of stuff that's injecting stone. I tend to like Stonecutter a lot. I also like Roof Baluster a lot. Um, it depends a bit on what comes in the miners. If you get like a lumber mill, I prefer stone cutter. I'm also first seat here. So I think I take stone cutter because I know I'm going to get like an early read stone food or so. And I think stone cutter is about as much stone as roof baluster in a lot of games. But, uh, it's hard to say. It's also hard to say if how good stone, well, if there's a storehouse keeper. Um, I love me a storehouse keeper game. Uh, just play it and try to spam read stone food. The real question is, do I just take read stone food in round one? Or do I bother playing Storehouse Keeper first? But regardless, I love me a Storehouse Keeper. The rest of these cards are a little less un or good. Harpooner is okay if you get to grow aggressively. But the rest are pretty bad. These guys are quite bad. Um, but yeah. Sorry, I need to throw out stream announcements here. Uh, I have played... A handful of games off stream recently. Uh, uh, anyhow, sorry, I, I have streamed or I've played a couple of games off stream. Uh, they've actually gone quite well. So I'd like my recent stream games where I'm complaining. Uh, my recent games otherwise have been pretty nice. So that's been good. Um, at this point, I kind of want to build ovens uh, this game as a feeding method. And so Scythe Worker to provide some extra grain as well as pulling it out faster if I do sow some stuff. It's pretty tempting. So I think I'm going to go with that. Um, I've been, again, I've been playing more Draft 7 lately, which tends to be the cards are a little less powerful and you get stuck with stuff at the end that aren't as great. So... Um, we'll see here. Um, I like never play small scale farmer and maybe I should, cause it can be pretty strong. It's just, I don't plan to play it here round one and it's kind of a card you have to play early. And there's just so many other cards I like to play early and other things I like to do early. It just does not fit how I play the game. I also against players, I tend to prefer to grow quickly. It gives you a lot more control over the game now. At this table, the usual mistake amongst a lot of good but not great players is they overvalue growth, so the real winning line is usually elsewhere. I almost never play Firewood Collector, but it, it can be a good amount of wood. But I just usually don't struggle to get wood in this set. And then Frame Builder I like almost never play, but it, it can be fun uh, on the Renos and building like clay or stone rooms. Um... I'll probably just take small scale farmer here though. I'm probably not playing it, but it was probably just the best card. Here, this is an easy animal dealer. Cattle feeder sucks. Stable architect largely sucks. Animal dealer can actually be playable. Uh, here I take Priest. Priest is sometimes playable. Lutenist is rarely playable. Or Pastor, sorry, it's not Priest. Priest is much better. Pastor, though, if I want... Uh, small-scale Farmer Pastor is like a slight combo. You stay on the small house, keep getting benefits, then play Pastor, but... It's probably not worth it this game. The only way that stuff becomes worth it is if I find a sleeping corner in the draft. Uh, this hand could set up... Small scale farmer is better to take first in that case, right? I already have small scale farmer. Yeah. Uh, we find a carpenter's parlor though, so this changes like our. This kind of changes a lot of our game plan, but in good ways. I clearly just open Reedstone food and take two wood on first seat, and we just play a carpenter's parlor game plan here. 
try to build a bunch of rooms, grow fast. If growth doesn't come early, it's a little bit of a bummer. But uh, finding time to play Storehouse Keeper early could be huge. Uh, the extra food I get from taking some early grain would be nice. But even if I could just grow aggressively and build a hearth, Animal Dealer is uh, can really help make feeding a lot easier. Uh, and again, it, it, you rarely run into like serious food trouble in Revised. It just depends on how much it slows you down. But if I could get some aggressive growth here, this would be great. There was the harpooner in the draft. The harpooner means there tends to be more... The, like somebody's taking fishing, so that could be a problem. But the upshot of harpooner in the game is that uh, it usually means there's more read. And read could be a constraining point for me to put how the game plays out. Uh, here, none of these cards are particularly good. I really dislike Scullery. I just think it's too expensive. Trying to get a clay action in my opening is too rough. Herring Pot, same thing. Like, I'm just not going to be fishing. Uh, three field rotation kind of sucks. Mantlepiece is pretty good, but it really doesn't work well with, uh, what I'm running. So I think I just take Strawberry Patch as some, like, point ceiling, even though I don't have a source of veggies. Um... If the game goes very well and I'm running out of ways to score at the end, Strawberry Patch can be very helpful. It's a little concerning to pass Mantlepiece, but I have not passed any... I didn't pass anything like Cottager, Loam Pit. I haven't passed uh, a Priest. I haven't passed any Stonehouse cards at all. I saw none of Plow Driver, Scholar, Groom, Manservant. So... I don't think there's a lot of benefit to Reno early in this draft, so I'm much more comfortable with doing that. Um, clearing Spade with Scythe Worker it can be very fun. You can rapidly, rapidly clear off fields via Sobake actions. The other tempting card here is Shifting Cultivation. Um, both of these kind of help me with fields and crops, and fields I don't have a great answer for, so it should probably be Shifting Cultivation. I'm a little nervous about my food, depending on how this game plays out. Uh, in which case, maybe clearing spade is still better. Nah, shifting cultivation is going to be good this game. I think. Uh, we do find a lumber mill. Uh, lumber mill with stone cutter is really fun. We only have Strawberry Patch thus far that costs a wood. Um, Carpenter's Parlor also costs a wood, but like it's very hard to figure out how I'm going to play Stonecutter, Lumber Mill, then Carpenter's Parlor. Like It doesn't make a lot of sense. It's not even clear to me that I play Stonecutter particularly early this game. Um, I'm probably playing Carpenter's Parlor without the Stonecutter discount. But I think this still just has to be Lumber Mill with Stonecutter in hand. It's it's just, it can be a very good card. And it's more points. There's a lot of stone in the game at the start of the draft. That's, I literally titled this stream Stone, Stone, Stone or whatever. So uh, Here, most of these cards are pretty bad. I don't like Wool Blankets much in general. Brook is like kind of okay, but the timing on it usually does not work well. But maybe... Maybe the timing on Brook works this game, but I doubt it. Uh, so this might actually be Basket. I mean, am I ever going to have an extra read? And am I ever going to want to feed this way? Probably not. And yet, the one like potential thing that could happen for my game is to become very food tight still, I think. If I grow aggressively and do what I want, uh, I could see a line where I run really low on food and might actually play Basket as an emergency way to feed for a round or two. I think it's more likely than me playing Brook, but I'm not sure. Uh, nobody took the Harrion Pot, but there was a Harpooner in the game, so that's a bit surprising. But I'll take three field rotation. I don't intend to use it, but uh, our Lumber Mill is not looking very exciting uh, in terms of what discounts we're going to get. <laughs> we get the Dutch Windmill last, so the Dutch Windmill does get discounted. Um, so Dutch Windmill could be playable this game for some food and stuff, too. Um, but anyhow, I need to redo some things here quick. Uh, we're opening this game with Reedstone food. Number one, Marushka, we're trying, but it's tough. Anyhow, this hand has some chances, but we'll see. Um, all right, resize everything, and we should be good. Everything should be visible. Um, yeah, it, this should be a good start. Um, 
getting two wood here is going to be great. Uh, the real dream is somehow somebody doesn't awk. Like if Pro Hell really doesn't want to awk and wants to take the two clay because of the sheep, that would be pretty incredible. We get an early woodcutter from Lushkin. Classic BGA here. I never saw that woodcutter, but it's just going to add more wood to the game. Oh, he does go for the two wood. Oh, that's so dreamy, team. We love to get Ock here. I'm going to play the Storehouse Keeper and hope to stay first seat. Even if I don't stay first seat, I don't really care. I want to get Storehouse Keeper down this game. Um, if I can, next round, a potentially like a good play next round would be to just uh, Ock Stonecutter into start player lumber mill into reedstone food again like uh this seems pretty good oh this is crazy good yeah uh pro hell pro hell taking two wood there and not wanting to play an ock is yeah kind of kind of wild uh it might mean that he wants to start player and you know i might get blocked on reedstone food but that's fine i oh, know red's gonna start player that's a bummer rammed clay it's fine um yeah, it's it's totally good. Uh, I, unlike a lot of players, when I have Ack or Carpenter's Parlor, I'm not that worried about double building here. Um, it's just not important to double build first. I'm very happy to build one room and then go back later in the game and build multiple. Um, so we'll see. But yeah. Woodcutter and Rammed Clay dream combo. Yeah, I mean, I've played a lot of games with Lushkin recently and I'm not convinced he's actually particularly good yet. Um, he understands a couple of the basics of the game and then it kind of goes to hell. Uh, one read. Wow. Okay. So pro hell almost certainly has childless. Like that's a very childless looking start to me. He didn't want to play childless cause it gives off too much. So he wants to take, he really wants to take three wood, one read this round. Oh, and he doesn't even get three wood pro well, he, pro hell does get readstone food, but like he is in some trouble. Uh, if he's running childless, which I suspect he is. Uh, I will awk the stone cutter here as discussed. Uh, whoever took the two clay, by the way, that's pretty sweet. Um, two clay from GS here is nice. I'll play stone cutter. Uh, my food is also uh, a bit of an issue, but I'm, I'm getting enough good things done here. I think I'm fine. Uh, when you have childless, when is it correct not to rush it? Well, I mean, when you have fourth seat childless, I mean, you probably have to go for it. But this is where, like, I would just play an Ock. I might even just play childless. Like, you just, you, you're giving up so much value when your round one is two wood, one read. Like, it's such, it's it's very, it's a very weak round. And he doesn't even have a guaranteed room yet in round three. Um, I've argued before I'm comfortable just playing a round four childless also. Like, a lot of people seem to think you have to get childless down in three. And it is good, but it depends on how much you sacrifice to make that happen. Um, I think it's fine to do other stuff. But uh, regardless here, we do get the harpooner in the game. So uh, that means there's a bit more read, which I like, but... It isn't easy to get better at a board game. There's a wall. Yeah, look, it, it takes a while for people to figure some stuff out, and so it's all good. Uh, I'm going to definitely start playing Lumber Mill. Um, start player Lumber Mill into Reedstone Food Grain, and then probably have to take three food on the wheel, but maybe three wood. We'll see how it goes. Um, two clay from Pro Hell is very odd. I don't know what he's up to for sure anymore. I mean, I guess if he's childless, I don't know what he's supposed to do here, but like, it sort of looks like now he wants a fireplace. I mean, I guess with a harpooner in the game, maybe he's reading this correctly. Like, what is what is GS Mathis doing here with that clay? Uh, but I would assume, like, I'm star player, and if I'm GS Mathis, I just build the fireplace. I don't know what the two clay is for. Oh, I did pass Scullery. It could be some jerk trying to play Scullery and start player on me. I'm going to... I'm going to get a little annoyed at that if uh, GS Mathis is going to start player Scullery when he's already second next round, but we'll see. Uh, you were just fourth seat childless, and you think competing for Reed kind of killed you, wound up getting childless out in four, and then grew first in round five. Yeah, that's a little rough. Um, it, it fourth seat childless really is just unlucky, is essentially what it comes down to. I'm not going to disagree with that. Like, it, it can just be pretty brutal, but... Anyhow, Reedstone Food Grain here is a pretty obvious pick. Uh, three wood on the wheel is welcome. Um, but yeah. Uh, you played Race for the Galaxy so much, but never can get above 450. Feels like there's a wall. I mean, some people do run into walls in certain games. Like, you just can't figure out what you're doing wrong or how to play better. And, you know, that, that does happen. But 
Uh, I would like three wood here. If I can't get three wood, I will take food. Uh, I can't get three wood. Prohel's also getting killed here. Prohel presumably really wants the wood. I, like, I, I'm reading him as childless still, and his entire opening has just been brutally hit. The fact that people don't really want to play Ox is killing him kind of too. Uh, there is a two read action for me. I could take that, but I'm, I'm just not that interested in it. I think I do just get my food situation a little sorted, so I just take, I just take three food. Um, I think I do take the fishing food, though. I don't think I want to help the harpooner here, even though I do want there to be extra read in the game. Lushkin looks totally uninterested in read, by the way. Like, him not taking two read there is pretty surprising. Prohel plays Conjurer, so now the question is, do I want to block? Which do I block? Um, I could just take two wood. Two wood is enough for, like, a room, but I eventually need a food action. Uh, so the question is, is it worth blocking Prohel, or is it worth... Well, so if Prohel's going to conjure, that means he's not going to start player. And if I don't fish here, that should also encourage... Or if I fish here, that should force him to just take read, maybe. I could just take read myself, but then I think I... Yeah, I think that's too risky. I think I have to take food. I think I'd rather take it from the harpooner, but the conjurer does make things weird now. This is actually a tough choice. The thing is, like... Taking the food away from Prohel makes his entire game like even worse, which I feel bad about, but this Harpooner is going to have such easy food throughout the game, including the first fireplace. I don't even think he cares much if he gets blocked on Harpooner. I think, I think it's more impactful to take Prohel's food, but I do feel bad about this. What did I do to get over the wall? We can discuss. And Prohel saying, God damn it. Yeah. Yeah. You... <laughs> Prohel saying it's okay, but yeah, I get it. Like this is this is where this is one of those games where it looks like everything's gone wrong for Prohel early, so uh Blue here does choose to fish. Um, so he like there's so much food in the game for blue. Uh, but he does not have room parts, which is make which makes me happy. Um I like the fact he doesn't have room parts yet. I admittedly the wood is being very tight this game. I might have to open next round with four wood if it's there. Even though I would really like to take greenstone food grain, but Four wood next round is probably the best if it comes to me. Gosh, Lushkin loves to start player. He's going to start player some stupid scullery. Yeah. Oh, well. I mean, whatever. It's He at least has down a scullery early, and it's probably fine. But And I guess he needed that for food. I just... I just feel like Lushkin star players a lot still. He has not learned that lesson. Prohel just takes more read. Takes the best action off the board. I think that's smart. Um, I would love the four wood here, but I don't see there's any way I get it. Prohel presumably is going to take wood and build this round at this point now. He's going to get the first room still because of that star player shift. Which is what, I mean, whatever. Lushkin's allowed to do it. But start playing and helping the person after you get the first room is often, like, another, like, high-level concept to start worrying about. Like, when you take start player, you have to think about how it's shifting things up for you and how it might eventually impact the growth queue. And with Lushkin never taking read, like, Lushkin is not going to be growing remotely. Like, Lushkin looks like he's just going to grow last. And it's partly because he start player there instead of taking two read. Um, you know, like handing, but uh, yeah, whatever. Anyhow, um, trying to respond to your question of how do you get over the wall in certain games or like, how, wow. So I don't get wood here again. It's going to go wood. So I am getting wood blocked. Lushkin's taking all of the wood out of the game, which good for him, but like, 
Uh, I will just hit Reedstone Food Grain then. I'll hope to get four clay on the wheel. Four clay would be a good action on the wheel. And I'll, I'll just live with the fact I get wood later. It's interesting watching me not take wood repeatedly. Well, where was I supposed to take a good wood action this game? Do I think I'm dead? No, I'm not dead at all. My game's fine. The thing is, I, I really haven't had a great time to take wood. I... The three wood has just been getting taken very early every round, um, which is like fine. But I also have storehouse keeper, and I'm getting reedstone food grains here. Like, I've gotten, I've gotten what three reedstone foods in the opening. I have a, I have two ox down. I have a lumber mill down. I technically can start player. I can start player carpenter's parlor here into three wood or something. But I'll just take four clay. I'll get feeding set up. It's fine. Uh, you often feel like not having wood in round one means you're dead. Oh uh, yeah, I don't I don't really think it's a big issue here. Like I have good food set up. Lushkin has like tons of wood but no room parts. Teal's gonna get the first room. Uh, like, I don't know. I, I I'm not worried about it here. Yeah, like I do need wood still, don't get me wrong. I, I want wood. I'm a little annoyed. Like I was definitely gonna open this round with wood. I thought it was gonna get four wood, but Lushkin start player and took more wood. I really don't understand Lushkin's game though. Like he has like no real food, he has a ton of wood, and he played rammed clay. Um, like I'm not I'm not scared about Lushin, Lushkin's game yet. Like, congrats, but I, it's just not it's just not doesn't concern me. Pro Hell looks like he's been blocked on a lot of what he wanted to do, but he at least has taken generally good actions as best as he was able to. Uh, the guy after me here has a million food, so congrats to him. But it looks like he's pretty blocked here on what he wants. Also, like he really needs one more read. In fact, he's going... Wow, he's going to harpoon this, but then he doesn't have enough wood. This this doesn't work. But he's going to do it. I don't like that move at all. That's, like, such a wasted action. So like, I don't know. Basically, my opponents, I don't think, are doing particularly good things. Now, I'm in a slight issue of, like, not having wood, but there will be wood soon enough, and I'll build. I have cheap rooms. I'm going to have great feeding. If Like, I'm going to get... As long as I get four clay here. Now, admittedly, if it goes four clay, four clay, I'm a little in trouble. I really want to take four clay here because four clay is so beautiful with what I have started here because I can build a clay oven and I can still build a stone oven off of four clay um, with the stuff I have. And that's a bunch of bake actions I can get off early. And that's so much food. But Lushkin is taking four clay. I mean, there's not much else to do and nobody apparently wants to awk again. Okay, Prohel is just going to build this. I do get four clay, which I am very happy about. Lushkin might open next round with two reed if it comes to that. I, 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 I don't, I don't know. If, but anyhow, four clay makes me content. I'm, I have a good stage one overall. Uh, blue is saying should have played that differently. Yeah, that makes sense. I don't, I don't know what blue did there, but that's okay. Uh, ultimately, things are okay here. Even if I have to take two wood and just start player carpenter's parlor so I can build. It's it's definitely not ideal, don't get me wrong. Like I'm not in the ideal game here, but I don't think things have gone too too problematic yet. Instead of having wood and room tempo, I have great food tempo now because I've gathered up clay and grain. So I would rather have room tempo, but I don't I'm not that sad about uh, having food tempo. We see a cottager, uh, but now he undoes it. But I don't remember seeing that cottager in the draft, so he might have first picked that thing. I don't think I passed him that cottager at all. First picking cottager is probably wrong, just for the record. Plays a firewood collector instead. That's fine. Let's add some more wood to the game. I agree. Let's go for it. All this wood injection of the game tends to just mean there's tons of wood in the late game for me, which is good because I mean I don't have other I don't have fencing out, so I need wood. Uh, we get Reno here, which is fine. Uh, I would like three wood. If I don't get three wood, I'll just take another reedstone food grain very happily. Wow, Lushkin Lushkin's gonna play a brushwood collector. Okay, that's why he's taking all this wood. Alright, that makes more sense. Um how do I feel about that? I mean, he's going to throw away most of his wood. He's going to get multiple rooms. Everybody's going to have rooms. I'm not going to get to just rapidly grow into cheap rooms, but 
Oh well. Three wood gets taken, so I mean I am getting wood blocked. I'm gonna just take greenstone food grain again and slow play the wood situation. It's just not I am just not gonna rush T wood here. I just refuse to. It's just too inefficient. I can get rooms later. Lushkin's already gonna double build. Blue is gonna like plow wood and be able to build a room. Like I just I, I'm I'm just not gonna win the room race. So I'm just gonna win other races. I'm gonna win Clay oven, I might just build the well. I'll I'll just potentially get to double build. Um we'll see, but I'm gonna get a lot of improvement points this game too. This stone cutter I think is gonna be pretty sweet. It's gonna save me a stone on Carpenter's Parlor, it's saving me a stone on Lumber Mill, it's saving me a stone on uh, it's saving me a stone. Uh, wow, he takes the wood on single grain rather than plow. That also feels wrong. Like, I would always plow there. Like, why take a grain? But, uh, two stone on well and joinery. Yeah, I actually, that's, yeah, I also have a lumber mill down. So it's actually, it's just two stone in order to build the well. Uh, the well just cost me two stone, which is pretty nice. Um, Prohel does not start player, so Lushkin is going to probably just grow first, which is nice for him. My room tempo is, yeah, just bad, so we just live with the fact it's bad. Uh, I'm... Oh, I could... No, I can't play the axe here. So I can play a two-stone well, which is very tempting. Um, it's actually probably what I should do. Not that anybody really has much stone... But I do also really want the clay oven, I think. Although I can just build the stone oven later, probably. Maybe the well is just better for me. It's a two stone well. It's hard for this to be wrong. And it's early, so the early food often helps a lot. Yeah, let's let's just let's just suck up the best points in the game for cheap here. Uh, so anyhow, yeah, though, Stonecutter's gonna save me a lot. You think Clay Oven was better, even assuming I get both? Okay. It seems more necessary. I'm not sure it's more necessary, is it? Because Stone Oven's an option for me still, right? Like, I'm assuming at this point I'm just getting another Reedstone food action sometime pretty early here. Like, nobody's been taking it, and... There's a brushwood collector and a harpooner. Like, there's not much pressure on reedstone food from what... I, and uh, Prohel already took two extra reed. So I think I get to spam reedstone food grain. If I'm going to use the scythe worker, then maybe it's fine. Yeah. I might use scythe worker. I'm not sure. Well, we get late growth anyhow. So um, late growth is a bit of a bummer for sure. Um, it means that my cheap rooms with carpenter's parlor is not as strong. But... It also means that uh, Lushkin's double build is also not as strong. And Lushkin probably has to start player here. And Lushkin doesn't have great food, although he'll survive. But uh, My round is going to be take four wood. And then it might be major the carpenter's parlor at that point. Because I, I need to be able to thread and build soon. But you think baking at stone oven quantifies rates is significantly worse on one grain source. Um, yeah. Uh, late grow seems good that I couldn't build first. Um, maybe, but I actually would much rather have earlier growth deranged. Even if I build late, it means I'll have an easier time growing into my cheap rooms, whereas now growing into my cheap rooms is going to happen very late, so I'm just not going to get action advantage, or, like, even a lot of actions, and I would much rather have more actions this- Wow, Master Bricklayer from Lushkin is such the wrong play here. Like... I hate I hate players that think Master Bricklayer is good and important, but like he's gonna grow like never now. But it really kills the growth queue for me, which is unfortunate because I can't build like well, there is a cottager in the game. Uh I don't know if that's gonna help me. Uh this is a bit messy. I can attempt I can attempt, however, like I'm assuming that I assume he's gonna build this round. So I might next round be able to start player into build that's going to be the gambit i'm going to run next round uh i think it's what i have to try for and i might get second growth for it 
But anyhow, Deranged, I would rather be able to grow much more aggressively this game, even if it comes late, because I'm going to have... I still think I'm going to have very good feeding. But, uh... Yeah, we'll see what happens here. Um, blue... Blue choosing not to build this round. Blue is... Blue should be building at some point. Lushkin presumably is taking the pottery here, or he could take the stone oven, which would be annoying. Or, no, he can't, because, yeah, he just takes the pottery. Uh, other people can test growth in late rounds more aggressively, preventing my fourth guy. Yeah, and fifth guys, right? Like, the the, the chance that I get to grow at all usefully in this game is pretty dead. Uh, Prohel presumably wants the clay oven, um, so I could read stone food grain here, or I, oh, I can't clay oven. Uh, Major got blocked. I should have known Major was getting blocked. Um, well, that's a bit unfortunate. Yeah, I might be letting Pro Hell get away with the clay oven, which I maybe maybe Lumen's all right on everything he said. Because now I'm going to have to stone oven this game. Oh, well. Uh, read stone food grain is probably my best action. Uh, and it does enable stone oven. Um, start player in here is pretty hilarious because, uh, my carpenter's parlor is actually free. Stone cutter lumber mill means this is free. So I could double build if it comes back around to me next round. Um, we'll see. Like he played a cottager, so I would think he's going to try to cottager grow, but he might not even build here. He might just take the sheep and then build next round after I start player, which is going to, it's going to a little unfortunate but yeah it's gonna be pretty unfortunate actually but i think i have to try to go for this gamble purple needs more food sources yeah indeed right purple purple needs more food sources he needs its cottager harpooner and yeah like it's a little his game his game's been unfocused but Purple has to build here, though, right? Actually, like, purple needs to build. Because if purple doesn't build, Lushkin can start player to grow. Although Lushkin's food sucks, by the way. Like, again, play, playing Master Bricklayer there and not being able to start player for grow is so, like, such a gross round. Also, when you play rammed clay and now you're playing pottery, it's kind of gross, too. But he is going to day labor build a room. So I think this is good for me because now he would have to stable block in order to grow. And stable block is such a painful move for him. Like, I don't think it's going to happen. Um, this sheep pile is insane, by the way. Like, Lushkin should have just built a hearth. Uh, like, it probably doesn't work, I guess, but... Uh, anyhow, yeah, I'm going to start player and hope to double build, and I think there's a chance I get away with that, but Sheep was better because he could prevent me from start building, yeah. I mean, he probably isn't reading the fact that I have a Carpenter's Parlor, though. He, he, he thinks I can't start build, but I agree, I think it's a mistake, uh, because now, now I don't think he wants to, I don't think he's going to block me, I just don't think it's worth it. So I think I probably will build here, um which is going to be pretty damn lucky for me because it means I'm going to grow second and I'm still in a pretty good spot. I will have to stone oven is the slight downside. Clay oven probably is better. I, I grant that Lumen was right there, but stone oven will at least get me easily through stage three. And then hopefully by stage four, I can like play scythe worker, have like maybe two fields and sow a bunch of grain and then it'll be fine. But it, it's going to put a little pressure. Purple is indeed not going to block me. He's just going to take four wood and then take the sheep. So... Gotta love that. Lushkin takes a pile of reed. Gonna build the BMW. Fine with that. This is probably clay oven right now is my guess. Yeah, the clay oven's gonna disappear. But I'm okay with that as well. Getting to double build here is pretty nice. My wood situation is, in tr uh, is definitely trouble long term this game too. But I continue to think there's enough wood in the game. It'll make it. It'll work out. You won your first Grit game against Randos yesterday. Congratulations. Well done, Ghostly. Yeah, that's really cool. That's fun. Uh, I don't know if it matters how I build. Oh, it does kind of matter how I build my rooms. Uh, this is fine. Yeah, this is fine.
Huh. Are these, I suspect these are new bots, and I should not click this link, because I've never recognized these names before. Yeah, indeed, it is spam. All right. Uh, anyhow, getting away with start build here is pretty great. Um, start building was definitely fortunate for me. Uh, this sheep pile is just insane. Uh, Lushkin, how did Lushkin feed that round, by the way? Lushkin had to, he had to fish for three. Lushkin's game is just, he's really thrown it away by really inefficient actions here, but, um, all right. Uh, I missed. What am I growing with? Oh, am I growing with basket? Oh, that's ugly. Or am I paying for the shifting cultivation? I'm going to pay for the shifting cultivation, right? I have enough food here. I'm going to stone oven and have lots of food, actually. Yeah, I can pay for this shifting cultivation. Having an extra field is actually potentially very useful here. I might be able to sow grain. I might, yeah, we'll see. I might be able to sow grain pretty soon. Yeah, the field, the field is good here. Wonder if there's a mod bot that can filter the spam. Yeah, yes, yes, there are guys. Thank you. Uh, you guess Lucian hasn't watched my previous vods. He always comes back. I mean, maybe he likes watching the vods and hearing me trash him. But I do feel like I trash him maybe too much, so I feel a little bad. But also like. He is taking a lot of really bad actions. He's growing last because he couldn't... St like, he was start player in round six. He needed to start player and grow first. He's growing last instead. He built two rooms. He's played a master bricklayer that, yeah, is going to get him a couple of improvements, but... I, I, I think... I, I just... Yeah, I don't think it's... I don't think this game plan's been particularly great. But that's all right. It happens. Um, I, I really want to take four wood actions this game pretty badly, but I think I need the stone oven even worse. Although I can't even build it here. Uh, I forgot that the major spam of master bricklayer was going to annoy me because yeah, like pro hell could take three stone here. And then I'm suddenly looking at issues in terms of getting the stone oven. So that's annoying, but I can't do much about it. Uh, how do I feed if I don't get a stone oven, though? What do I do? Sheep sweep for the laughs? God, I kind of want to, but it really kills me. But I would love somebody to sheep sweep, because, yeah, this is insane. Like, I'm not in position to do it, though. Right? I can't justify that. Uh, I can take four clay here and just reno. I can just reno to the stone oven. There's really no need to build a fifth room this game, even though it's cheap for me. It's just too difficult. Yeah, it's just too difficult to pull off. I also was really hoping to sow crops next stage, but that's probably just too aggressive. It's not important. I'll just take four clay. Four clay also allows me to like to run a hearth or something. But uh I guess one option I do have is I could plow a field, sow bake next round in redstone oven. I'm a little nervous about potentially leaving six wood on the table, by the way. Yeah, maybe I should. Yeah, this is. I've I've put myself in a bit of a tough spot here this game. Um, my wood and my fences could get a little ugly, um, which could be trouble. Oh wow, he's gonna get greedy enough to try to get the sheep into his pastures. Um, that's pretty bold. Pro hell. If I'm pro hell, I'm very much. Well, Lushka didn't start player. Oh, but I could have tried to start player to grow again, huh? Or no, start player. Oh, duh. No, he, he has to grow first action. I would be very tempted as Pro Hell here to take the clay and run out to a fireplace. 
because Prohel's food is not that good either, and I think he can take the clay Reno fireplace and take nine sheep at the start of next round. Uh, Lushkin just kind of blocked... Oh, no, Lushkin has to start player. Prohel is taking the clay. He's gonna, I think he sees the line. I think he's going to Reno to the three clay fireplace here. Reno into the three clay fireplace is very clever. Well done, well done, Prohel. Everybody, this is a great lesson on, like, you cannot let your sheep build up this much. This is, like, stupidly greedy. Now, admittedly, Purple did fence big and got Shepherd's Crook here already. Like, he doesn't even really need that sheep pile because he has Harpooner, but, ugh. Purple should take nine sheep because it's nine sheep and that's better than family growth. I mean, I think you're right. That's fair. Well, although the problem for Purple is like Lushkin and I both grow in front of him. Is it actually better for Purple when he has Harpooner? Like he has so much food. He is going to take the sheep instead of growing. Wow. So Lushkin just grows and then I could start player here. Huh. Uh, I would be start player in with nothing and growing with nothing. Well, that's trouble. I'm probably not going to start player, but... Um, yeah, I don't think I actually will start player here, but... Who came out on top with the nine sheep buildup? Purple sure as hell didn't. I don't seem bummed about the outcome. Lush yeah, Lushkin came out on top is for sure. Lushkin getting to grow here is amazing. He for sure won. Purple in no way won here. Purple, like, has a million food from a million sources and has not grown, but congrats to him, but he's not winning. Um, I want a redstone oven this round, because that's how I feed. I mean, nobody can reno, so, like, I can safely start player for the grow. I'm start player in nothing, and I'm growing nothing, is the part that I cringe about. But... It's also just an earlier family growth in the game, and I really want to grow. It's probably correct, but start player with the basket, yeah, you're, you threw Kappa because you know that that's wrong, especially since it means that I can't reno, and I might need to reno here in order to survive. Um, yeah, I mean, I think this is one of those cases where I'm supposed to do this, but oof, it hurts a little to like throw away an action and then take a grow action, but I think it's correct. But not having miners here that are worth playing is unfortunate. But it's a growth in round 10. I think it has to be worth it. I think it has to be worth it. Um, I would like to probably just take three wood and then reno. Alternatively, I am okay with uh, I'm okay with plow. The dream was basket. Start player with basket. No. Uh, the dream, I don't know what the dream totally was this game. The dream is to have gotten a bit more wood earlier, I guess, but everything else has been largely okay, so I don't know. Uh, the, the dream was that I got handed a family growth there for some reason, but I mean, whatever. Ultimately, I've got away with quite a bit here still, I think, this game. I think I'm still in the winning position. It's hard to say, because I, my wood is bad. Like, I don't have an answer for wood yet. And I need a lot of it. And I'm not even getting three wood here. Uh, yeah, I mean, I'm going to have to spend a lot of actions on wood, but the upshot is I don't have a lot else to do, and I still have a lot of off-board points. But growing, start player nothing, growing nothing is bad in general. But it's a round 10 growth in a game where the grow queue is still pretty close. So I, I think it's okay, but...
Uh, Lushkin is building the joinery, so he has all the guilds, and he s did get a benefit out of Master Bricklayer, I guess, but when I say I guess, I'm obviously kind of dubious, right? Like, I'm not convinced uh, that Lushkin's particularly benefiting, but oh well. Uh, Stone just got taken, but he does not... Oh, but he could reno. Uh, so I have to reno here. And I have to take away the only other, like, stone cost major that's left. Yeah, this is the only stone cost. All the majors is pretty crazy, but... Uh, I'll bake twice. Uh, Plow got taken in response, though, which is pretty unfortunate here. Uh, I think my best answer might be to play Scythe Worker. Scythe Worker does at least let me grow three-field rotation, even though I hate three-field rotation. Um, I don't... None of the other actions here are particularly appealing. Reedstone Food Grain is okay, but I think just playing Scythe Worker is better, because I think I still... I think I do want to sow some grain into the ground, uh, during stage four here. Um, and... Maybe I somehow find a way to use three field rotation, but I'm not going to. But it makes me feel just a little better that I'm playing a minor, even though it's a dumb minor I'm not going to use, which is obviously like a cognitive, kind of a cognitive error, right? Like, why, why do we, why do I care about playing a card that uh, is going to do me nothing? But anyhow, uh, Pro Hell does have Childless and a Roof Baluster, yeah. Uh, okay, sorry, I'm getting distracted by talking to the players of the game, and I'm not sure I'm being particularly helpful, so. Uh, okay. Uh, watched your Shadow Vistu yesterday, couldn't understand it, super helpful. Actual curiosity here about how many plays did it take for our jargon to be understandable. You stopped after 15 minutes last time, you've been putting a bit of time into understanding Grick, so it was fine on the second watch, cool. Uh, yeah, there's a video on Lumen's channel, it's uh, about Agricola's strategy, he made it with Shadow, which is a very good Agricola player. Uh, I can try to link to it here in a sec. Um, I still want to try to make some Agricola strategy videos, but I've been very distracted and I have a vacation coming up. So unfortunately, they're just not going to happen until maybe October and November. But I, I would still love to try to get out some more strategy content and series to discuss about a lot of these positions and other stuff and give some people ideas. But anyhow, the video that Lumen and Ghost are talking about is like really cool. It's very good. Uh, but it is a little tricky because... They do use a lot of like terminology and stuff, and it can be a bit hard to follow, which is one of the difficulties of talking and discussing Agricola strategy because it is like so deep and it's so situational sometimes. Um, like this situation, like you know, players have been making mistakes all over the place this game, but a lot of them are tough to like diagnose and handle, right? So, but we're both all talk and very little content creation. Indeed, we are Lumen, but. We also both have a lot of things to do, right? Like, I don't know. It's tough. Like, I don't... <laughs> uh, I would love four wood here, but Pro Hell probably takes it. Um, but four wood is great. Otherwise, plow is good. Actually, maybe three wood. Sorry, I probably have to take three wood. Yeah, I need to take three wood. Um, I have to take every three wood action I see. Um, I need defense, like, at least 12 this game. So I need every three wood action that comes my way. But... You're very busy moving up the patchwork ladder. Nice. Congrats. Uh, 
I, I've also been grinding too much Agricola, right? And then also just other stuff. But uh, I wouldn't. I, I'm, I'm thinking maybe in the fall and winter, I'll find some time to do a little more other stuff. Um, I've had some ideas for yeah, a combination of some videos. I've wanted to write one or two things uh, on Board Game Geek and stuff too, because I haven't done some of that in a while, but I do enjoy writing. But yeah, I just haven't found the right times yet, but we'll get there. Um, anyhow, I would love to plow this round. I'd really like to sow next round, which Pro Help could block me on, which would be unfortunate. Three wood does get taken. Yeah, wood is wood is really under contention this game still, which makes sense. And now plow does happen. Uh, my opponents are my opponents are starting to take good moves, which is a problem for me. Uh, I could just take a veg here. Uh. Yeah, this is like one of those games where I actually need... Maybe, maybe I should have kept the stupid firewood collector or something, but... I guess this is just reed stone, food, grain. Um... Next round, I would love three wood. Maybe plowing is more important to me next round, though. Next round, if I can plow and then sow two grain, that's pretty good. But the the wood situation in this game is troubling. It's very troubling. Where did all the wood go this game? Why? Like, where did it... Well, a lot of it went to these rooms. Everybody built a wood room. Couple wood improvements. Some, a decent bit of harpooning. And then Pro Hell. Pro Hell's in a very good position here, just growing first and aggressively taking the wood. And now he, now he he might sow on me next round too. He almost has to sow bake to feed, actually. Oh yeah, I don't think I get to I don't think I get to sow bake. Which is br a little brutal. Yeah, that's some trouble. Um, Playing bottles, so that's at least good for all of his food, but the clay pressure in this game is kind of tight, too. We don't have a, like, we just haven't had a lot of resource injection. Lushka to start player in, slightly surprised, mini pasture, so that lessens the wood pressure, but Pro Hell's, like, never going to play it. I think Prohel is going to first action so bake, unfortunately. I could be wrong, but I don't know how else he feeds. Yeah, he is so baking, so. That's a bit of a bummer, but I'll make do. Uh, I will just take three wood here then. Three wood's very important to me still. Uh, plowing is also really nice, but. This looks like one of the few revised games where we've had where no... Actually, God, maybe I plow instead of three wood. They're both very important. This is one of the few revised games we've seen with such little plow help. We, have, we haven't found any plow driver or assisted tiller or uh, moldboard plow. And so this is one of the few times where we're finally going to see a game that Lumen and I and others talked about is how plow type revised can be. Because like three wood and plow one field are both like first picks. And I'm going to, my game is actually going to suffer greatly for once. I've grown pretty, like I've been able to grow now, but my wood tempo is terrible. So I can't take the animals. And I can't, I can't really take wood or plow. So I have lots of actions, but they're going to go to really shitty things. Because I, I, I can't take important things. Which is really an issue. Um, I can play this Dutch windmill. Uh, which would give me some extra food if I bake next round. I might actually play Dutch Windmill. Uh, but I cringe upon just the thought. But it is only a one stone, one food Dutch Windmill, and I'm running out of stuff to do. Uh, I'll probably just take a cow this round at some point, but I would love to get plow back. But I just don't see a good reason for me to get plow back, really. I mean, maybe Pro Hell. Pro Hell might try to fence at least, but like everybody looks like they need plow. I I probably am taking two wood this round. Honestly, like I hate taking two wood actions, but 
that's probably necessary. But yeah, this game is uh, this game is remarkably tight for revised in terms of resources and other stuff. We we really aren't seeing any. We have not seen a lot of powerful occupations in revised here. Like we've seen some useful stuff, but almost none of these ox are in the top ten. And indeed, we do just see plow here. Although, wait a sec, how is purple feeding? Oh, purple has a million sheep, duh. So I probably take fishing, I guess, in order to feed here. Uh, yeah, I, my, my round is probably like fish, take a veg, and take a cow or something. Like, it's not a great round by any means. Um, but I guess I could fish, take a veg, and play the Dutch windmill, assuming I'm gonna so bake next round, but Oh team, we're we're in we're in we're in for some hurt. We are in for some hurt. Uh veg gets taken even, so we're in for a hell of a lot of hurt. Um everything just just sucks. Just absolutely sucks. Everything is awful. Um Yikes, yeah, where did we go so wrong? Maybe we did suffer from not taking enough wood early in the game, but the wood pressure was just high this whole game. Uh, what could I have done about it? I could have played small-scale farmer, I guess, but that doesn't seem clear. What's our goal for the coming round or two? Uh, take wood and plows. We need wood and plows. Like, you would have start player in parlor once it was free into three wood. Yeah, I think you're right, Lumen. I think I was too lackadaisical about it. I should have just SP'd parlor into three wood. Um, my wood tempo has actually kind of killed me this game. But, oh well. Oh well, we're doing what we can. Uh, what we can, I could take a two wood action, but I just don't really want to. I might get four wood at the start of next round. Lushkin presumably takes whatever flips. Pro Hell, I thought Pro Hell was fencing this round. Pro Hell should have fenced, in my opinion. I don't know why Prohel did not fence, but I also really want to open next round with Plow, though. Like, I need another field for So Bake. So maybe I do take two wood here and then play Dutch Windmill. The downside is I'm leaving great animal piles for somebody. I think I am just playing Dutch Windmill, and I'm assuming I'm getting so big next round, which is far from assured, but I'm really coping to. And then, do I want to leave two cows, or do I want to leave four wood is the question, and I'm probably supposed to take the wood here. But... I've said it before. When you're taking, when you're, when you feel like you need to take consistent two wood actions, it tends to mean you're losing, and I suspect that's going to be the case here. Pro Hell's game is quite good here because he's at least just building a farm. I mean, I guess I have to remind myself I do have, I do have eleven offboard points at least, and I should be able to run out to a stone house pretty easily. Like I just take a three stone action here, and I can run out to stone, um, but. Yeah, um, definitely, definitely some troubles this game for me. But I'm taking plow this next round. I'd like to take... Who's been eating all the wood? Uh, it's not even that somebody's been eating all the wood. It's just there's a brushwood collector that used some wood... Lushkin built two wood rooms. This was a wood room. This was a wood room. We're so used to revised games where a bunch of people aren't building wood rooms for whatever reason. We're used to revised games where people are injecting a lot of wood. Uh, wow, Lushkin is take. Oh, duh. Lushkin takes the pigs because growth flips because he has a room, which means Prohel gets the growth. Oh, how gross, team. Prohel probably is going to win this game. It's very strong to get the growth here without having to start player for it or fight for it. Uh, this is why I tend to hate players start playering in round 11 if you're not going to take the round 12 action. The start player does not benefit you. It benefits the player after you. So start like start player from Lushkin really did not help his game, and it it's such a gift here. 
Uh, like he did play mini pasture, so I guess it kind of helped Lushkin because he got a pair of cows. But it's even more helpful to Lush or to Pro Hell. But who did he take first away from? Um, Purple head first. So did he have a terrible start? I don't like what Lushkin was up to because he kept skipping to take read actions. But Lushkin did have a brushwood collector, so. All right. Or did Prohel have a terrible start? Prohel did have a terrible start, but Prohel got first growth and has otherwise taken great actions. God, he he passes on grow though for plow. Well, okay, fine. I like I get grow, sure. Um not getting not getting plow and not getting so bake is a bummer, but not growing there is a mistake from Prohel. Just like absolutely. I mean, his food maybe doesn't support it is his theory, but um Growing in round, like growing in this round when it flips is very strong. Like it's just three points and two actions back. Um, yeah. Uh, so I'm content. I'm 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 pretty happy about that break at least. Uh, I'm probably taking so bake on the wheel here because I really wanted to bake this round. The bigger issue is pro hell. Oh shit. Well, uh, wait, I was going to say, maybe Proheld passed on that because he has a sleeping corner, and maybe he's going to so grain and start player sleeping corner, but that doesn't even make much sense because... Ah, oh, god damn it, Purple, don't start player. People start player way too aggressively in these late rounds. Like, you're passing up such good actions right now in order to do what? Take growth? He does have wool blankets, so that's fun. So that's part of why he took the huge sheep pile. I mean, maybe he doesn't have anything better to do here than start player. He maybe really doesn't. The This is the problem of fencing one big pasture. Like, you can't even take other good actions. And then, yeah, plows are stupidly tight. But my game is in real trouble, like, because I'm not even going to get plows next round either, probably. But, oh, well. I'm hoping for so bake, but pro hell might block me. Uh, if Prohel blocks me and I'm fourth next round, I am in trouble too. But do I think... Pl no, I don't think Prohel was correct to plow there. I don't think plow could ever be, like, correct. Oh, but Prohel... Okay, Prohel has clearing spade. So he is just going to play... He is going to play... Uh, he's going to play sleeping corner. But this is this is, this is is for sure wrong. Why gift me a growth? Like, right? D d no need to gift me a growth. Just block it from the table is stronger. You can just play sleeping corner later. Um... I would never have added more growth to the game there. But uh, anyhow, sowing only one field is feel bad. But yeah, everybody does love start player except Prohel, right? Prohel has learned my lesson. Don't start player aggressively. He only start player for his growth is the only time he start player. So this is another one of those games where the turn order isn't necessarily doing me a lot of favors because again... One of the main things you're doing when you're start player is you're 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 really helping the player after you more than you help yourself usually. Now start playing for growth, yeah, like early on that's very important, right? But in these late rounds, the difference between like plow sow and family growth and stuff is like pretty equivalent. So when you start player in the middle rounds, the difference between growing your family and all the other actions is a huge gulf. So start playing to make sure you take family growth, that has value. But in the late rounds when you're start playing, all the actions are kind of equivalent. Like, there's just pairs of boar, and there's fields, and there's wood, and there's, like, all of it is roughly equivalent to each other. Um, and so start playing in order to, like, try to really jostle and fight for it doesn't make a ton of sense, usually. But, uh, oh well. Uh, two wood is getting taken. We are all suffering the wood fight here. Um yeah, the, the wood pressure is definitely going to cause me some issues. I'm probably going to have to try to last action Reno Fence. Uh, the upshot is I'm going to have a big family, a big stone house. Uh, the downside is I'm going to have crappy animal points. But uh, I think last round Reno Fence. I'm hoping to get a plow action next round, but I might continue to get plow blocked, which would be kind of brutal. Uh, I really want three stone just because that locks up Reno, and I probably just want two wood again. Yeah. You think sometimes start player late is your best option if you have badly effed up your game and can't take advantage of animals, reno, etc. Yeah, I mean, that's probably true, too. The more I was, like, looking at it, I'm really not sure what purple was supposed to do this round over start player. Although, the fact that he's taking two wood and there was three wood, I would suggest he was better off taking three wood and then hoping start player came back. Because I, I don't think this sequence is actually better for him. 
But uh, again, I'm not in charge of other players' games, so. Uh, I'm going to take three stone on the wheel, like I said. Um, purple is going to fence here. That's fine. Uh, the fact that... Uh, the other reason that I don't love what Prohel's been up to is Prohel not fencing has re is really costing him points. Because there's there's animal pairs again next round, and Prohel's animals are going to be way worse than they should be because he keeps refusing to fence. Uh, it happens to you a lot. Your absolute best is to plow, sow, or grow, and not getting that is just much worse for whatever reason. Yeah, so I would encourage you to figure out how you're setting up your game that that's the case. Because, like, even purple here, like, he doesn't have a veg action yet, right? Like, this, like, this start player means he passed up a two-point action. Now, was that start player? He did play wool blankets, so it was a good minor, at least, for once, too. So, like, maybe it's okay, but... Uh, yeah, uh, I kind of want to take the bench here, but I should just take the stone. Extra stone doesn't have any value here. This is enough stone for my reno with stone cutter, so may as well just guarantee the reno. Um, I really want plow this round. If I don't get plow, I might have to start player just to guarantee a plow stone next round. And as much as I've been talking about how much it sucks to start player, I really need a plow action. I also could real. I might need reno fence pretty badly. Uh, Pro hell hopefully just fences this round. But he could be waiting to reno fence. Am I trying to reno fence? Yeah, I'm trying to reno fence next round. I, I would like to reno fence this game, I think, is my goal. Um, I want to plow this round very badly. Plow is a high priority. Oof. Yeah, the fence the fence pressure is huge here. Pro Hell not fencing is gonna kill him because Lushkin fences here. So like Pro Hell's late fencing is really costly because he can't he can't take animal actions. And that's one of the few ways he scores points. Prohel might have kind of thrown this game away by not fencing um, earlier. Which is a bit of where, like, if he just took the growth last round, he wouldn't have had to play Sleeping Corner. Now, I'm sure he was hoping to start player Sleeping Corner on the wheel. But just take the growth is the answer, right? Like, this field, this extra field looks very greedy on Prohel's farm currently, in my opinion. Um yeah, it was a two-point field, but he's he's losing so many points here by not being able to take, like, this would be a four-point bore action for him if he could take it, but he does get Plow Sow, which is awesome. Plow Sow here is huge for him. I get Plow, which is very welcome. Um, I'm a little nervous about getting fence blocked, but plowing's just too important to pass on here. Um, I'd like to take wood on the wheel, but... Although, actually, purple should be done fencing. Purple should take the boar here, you would think. I might get the wood on the wheel. I'm not sure who's taking the wood. No, purple. Purple, you overvalue start player to your detriment. No, purple, no. No, no, no. Oh, Pro Hell gets both of the stage five actions from third seat. Feels good. Yeah, and purple is kind of killing me late here. This start player, at least he's playing a good card again. I mean, he is playing Young Animal Market, and he also really needs a field, but... This is this is a four-point boar action. He passed up a four-point action in order to start player. Like, if he just takes the boars and lets them breed, it's so pretty. But I guess who's taking the boar? I mean, nobody is taking the boar yet, so maybe he wheels it, but... I'll grant that he's at least playing high-quality miners. Like, that was a two-point action for him, but... Oof, it's painful. It's painful when somebody start players a bunch late. It's definitely costing me. Um, but, oh well. Pro Hell is playing in front of me and can red offense. Yes, I'm well aware of deranged. I'm very well aware. I know exactly what happens, which is why I'm complaining about it. That seems not great. I mean, it's not great. I mean, it's not a huge issue. No, neither of these guys can fence. I can afford to fence and reno as separate actions next round. It's really not that big of a deal. Um, and the upshot is if, as long as Pro Hell is taking Red Offense, it means I probably am like getting a plow action or plow. Well, it should go plow so. At this point, Lushkin just should not plow this game. Oh no, he does have hand plow. Lushkin really wants a plow. It might go plow so plow next round, which is unfortunate. But, oh well, uh, I am going to just take the boar here. I don't, what did purple, purple took the veg instead of the boar because he's plow sowing. Well, that's, purple is not going great here, but me getting blocked on veg this round is also a bummer. Uh, pro health travels, that's fine. Um, 
I really need to fence more spaces this game. So this two wood action is actually pretty good because it allows me to fence big. Um, uh, yeah, this is fine. I also kind of need so bake next round in order to feed, but I'm not totally sure who else is interested in so bake. I guess pro hell is pro hell's food also sucks. Uh, well that sucks. Yeah, the so bake spot is gonna be fought over too. How do I feed if I don't bake next round? Gosh, yeah, this this fourth seat stuff is actually gonna kind of kill me. Like the which I mean, good 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 for purple, I guess. Although I think purple's game is like just clearly so far behind that I think purple is just taking last regardless. But uh, I'm gonna have some issues in fourth seat here. Because if I get so bake block and I can't bake next round, um, this is where I could I could really use like a flail or a bread paddle, but they were not in the draft, so the lack of bake actions is rough. Uh, my three cl nobody's made a hearth yet, which is kind of annoying. If if either of these guys with fireplaces would actually reno and upgrade to a hearth, that would also be really helpful to me because then I could reno to a fireplace at least and then I could eat some animals. Uh, people taking cows does throw food off into the game because of the milk jug. So that's a little bit more food. I, I'll have to be able to figure out a way to feed, but it's going to be a little ugly. I really want so big uh, to feed, but oh well. Uh, again, I've whatever I've done. I've done things this game. I've put some pressure on me and the game hasn't broken incredibly well for me late. Nobody's having like a great game here either. So how am I not getting so big? I mean, I guess I first action so bake, right? I don't want to be. The other problem here is Lushkin, Lushkin can reno. I was hoping Lushkin would reno this action, but it, like Lushkin, if Lushkin doesn't reno, I also like might have to reno this round, which then means that Prohel could choose to just fence. Like I'm in a very bad spot here because of this start player. Um, maybe I wasn't supposed to plow and I was supposed to start player myself, but gosh, this is so painful. Like why is he taking wood? Why is he taking a one wood action? So the problem is Lushkin has to reno now to open next round. I think I'm getting fence blocked in this game is actually what's happening, which is even more brutal than I could have imagined. Cause Lushkin is probably going to be a complete jerk and he's going to, Lushkin is going to red fence and that's going to force pro hell to fence. And then that means I get reno, I guess at the start of next round, but everybody's just going to get screwed so hard is what it looks like. Yeah. I think Lushkin's if Lush like I think Lushkin maybe Lushkin had to take that wood action to feed, but Lushkin might red fence. I'm not sure he will because plowing is still so many points for him. But it does look like Yeah, it, God, this is such a mess. I could reno here, and that could be right in some circumstances, but the my ability to thread and reno might be what buys me fencing. So, everybody, we haven't seen this in quite a while, but uh, this is why... This is why fence tempo really matters, too. Putting yourself in positions like this at the end of the game where you have to fence in the final round can get really brutal. The wood was for brushwood. I mean, he has a million. He has a million reed. I think the wood was for joinery. He took he took one wood because of woodcutter, but he got two. So like he got two wood, but there's there's no like he has too much reed already. Like I'm pretty sure the wood was it, the wood might just be for joinery food. It might have been his food action. He's probably plowing, but he could open red fence, and I'm not sure it's wrong for him to open red fence. Like he might win the game. If he tries that line. And I'm not sure he wins otherwise. I Although I guess. Does he even want Reno? Right? Reno is kind of bad when you have the pottery. Like it's not that many points. So I'm probably paranoid. But he can Reno. Like that part sucks. Like I'm going to have to fence. And I might not Reno next round. So the alternative is I Reno here. And hope nobody fence blocks me. 
I'm just gonna get screwed regardless. I've I've waited too long to do critical things this game, and I've just I've been put into the bad position. I've had bad things happen, and it's just been rare. But uh, it's finally happened. So oh well. Uh, I'm just gonna deny people the big boar stack next round. Just take a two point action here at least. But there's, there's, oh, I have another action. Shit. Oh, fudge. I missed that I had two actions. Maybe I was supposed to just build stables and then take those boar. That feels even worse, though. Not being able to take Venge here pretty sucks. I could just Reno. <sighs> The downside of renoing is that it makes it like very tempting, in my opinion, for Pro Hell to block my fences. Like the fact that I can't thread a reno fence, I think I have to be able to thread a reno fence. But I'm like kind of throwing away this action here. Like, what do I do? I just take Reedstone Food Grain, just as because it's my best food action. I'm almost out of time. Yeah, I just I'm, I don't know. This end game, I've been completely flustered. I've been completely thrown off here. Um, Purple's constant start player is going to kind of kill me right at the end here. And I still don't know how much it helped Purple because Purple's game is still just so far behind in my opinion. But... I actually got a timer penalty. Gross. Uh, so the dream is to somehow get red fence, but there's no reason... There's no way Pro Hell is going to give me red fence. So I'm going to... I'm hopefully at least getting fencing. Hopefully Lushkin is plowing. I'd be a bit surprised if Lushkin isn't plowing. But the bigger issue, as I see it, is also going to come that Prohel should red fence. Like, it should go plow so, plow, red fence. I have to fence then? I think I'll have to look at the situation. If I don't have to fence, I can so bake to feed and then wheel fencing and my game is, like, mildly salvaged. But... <laughs> Um, yeah, so, okay, what's the real dream this round? I think the real dream is that it goes plow so, plow, red fence, I can so bake into fence, into, like, an animal, although there's, like, gonna be three sheep and two cows, so, like, there's no way I get an animal pair. Hopefully I can get veg, I guess. Um, yeah, I gotta, like, hope to get veg, and then I gotta hope to reno. I'm, I'm hoping Lushkin doesn't want to reno. Again, it doesn't look that valuable to Lushkin to Reno to me. Like, it's four points of house, but he's throwing away, he's throwing away like two or three points worth of resources because of his guilds. But that usually doesn't stop players, so I'm pretty sure I'm getting Reno blocked. But Uh, anyhow, plow so from purple. That was again very expected. It was like very known he was gonna plow so here. Lushkin almost certainly opens plow again. He could be fancy with he could open red fence here and like make everything suck. But I think Lushkin plows. No, P is gonna red fence. Yeah, see, see, he is gonna do it. He's gonna he's gonna throw the game. Well, shit, team. I mean, it might be Lushkin's best way to win. He might even wheel plow because Pro Hell will 100% fence here. I'm going to get fence blocked. I probably have to respond with Reno. And then we hope that purple takes plow, but... Well, purple's best move... Sh purple just might grow. And then Lushkin might wheel plow. I mean, this is a really expensive move by Lushkin because this Reno, like, he can't even fence, but it's really just blocking me. Like, it's a little gross because I'm not sure this is actually helping, but... Is de is deny and plow any good or is that too good for Prohal? Uh I think I have to reno, yeah. Like I don't think I could not reno here. But um yeah, I mean I've lost this game. I needed to fence a lot of my spaces too. So I mean 
this is going to be pretty ugly. I'm going to lose a lot of elo for this one, and I might have to stop my grind. But uh, I did some rough stuff this game, but uh, I also got really unlucky here. Like, there's so much value was given to the table off of these start players, and yeah, maybe it was Purple's best moves, but it's just unlucky when you're the guy sitting behind those. Uh, but shit, team. Uh, I mean, I saw this coming. I, again, I think I have to reno. I mean, I kind of have to so bake. <sighs> How does Pro Health feed if I so bake? Will well Pro Health yeah like if Pro Health can't so bake, maybe I just so bake here. I mean everything sucks. I mean I've lost like I'm losing this game a lot probably. How do I salvage it? Like I am gonna have to stable this round. Stabling's the only thing, but nobody else can stable. Um. Renoing is four points. It's only a three-point move for Prohal, although he can upgrade to a hearth. He probably does it just to block me. I mean, I think everybody's going to block me if they can. That's part of the problem of being high-rated. I'm going to so bake. It might be wrong, but I'm going to so bake. It's going to make it a lot harder for Prohal to feed. Everybody's just going to hate themselves this game. Oh shit, I'm going to have to redo that too. Because I'm going to get too much food. I don't need to bake that much. I only need to bake one of those. I forgot about uh, this stupid Dutch windmill I played. No fencing is rough. Oh, I, I've, I've for sure. Yeah, I mean, no, no fencing means I've lost this game almost certainly. Uh, is this a bad game for us? Oh god, this is a very bad game. You thought Childless was the worst card of the deck. Wow, okay. Uh, who are we most likely to beat this game? Uh, like nobody. We're we're pro I'm probably taking a fourth place. I'm like I'm probably taking fourth, and it's gonna kill me. Uh, I mean, Purple's game does not look great. Uh, Purple has a lot of problems too, but he's getting like at least most of his categories, and he has fencing done. I'm gonna just have too many unused spaces. You and God dang it, why is Purple doing this? Purple is throwing this game to Lushkin so hard, which is very frustrating to watch. Um, all these start players are helping Lushkin so much, and Lushkin's actually going to wield the plow action, which is so big for Lushkin. Like, Purple is taking a cow action that doesn't... I guess it feeds him, but he already has a cow, so this is like a one-point move, and this is just a two-point move, and this is a huge block on Lushkin. Uh, unfortunately, Prohel does decide to reno, which I thought was likely. So yeah, I mean, everything sucks here. Everything is just, this was, this was the worst possible outcome of everything. Purple's in no position to be blocking. Purple is, purple's not blocking. Purple's plowing because it's his best move. Why is purple taking two cows? Purple taking two cows when he has a cow makes no sense compared to plowing. It's just wrong. He's uh, like, he has a million food and sheep that he can eat. Like, he doesn't need to take those cows. Taking the plow is way better for his chances in every which way there. Like, it's just a flat out mistake. But, I mean, Lushkin might win. Prohel did get Reno because I decided to so bake. Maybe I wasn't supposed to, but I mean, I think Prohel's very happy with so bake. I mean, this again, this round, like, I'm just four seat in a game where I need to do a lot of critical actions, and I just can't take those actions. And it's like, it's just, it's just, uh, whatever. I mean, it's it's how it is. Prohel's gonna get the sheep here, which is awesome. I can't get the sheep. I, I mean, my game, my game sucks so much. I have no, I have no, I have no farm. No farm is how you lose these games. Prohel has a farm and. He's probably going to win because of it. Uh, I think all these start players, again, like, I think Purple's probably going to be third this game. And it's, he, he just start played and handed all the value to the players after him. And it's just another one of those games, like, I probably made some mistakes, but I also am just getting sick of these unlucky games where people start player a lot and do a lot of weird actions and throw value everywhere. Like purple managed to throw, mess up his grow queue and let Lushkin grow early. That was winning for Lushkin. Like, ugh. oh, well, uh, what are the emotes you can unlock? I don't know.
SP lovers are too much, even if you SP back just to take it again. Yeah, I mean, I uh, the only thing I will grant Purple is he at least played some decently high VP miners. But again, like he passed on a four victory point, he passed on a four victory point boar action for some reason this game, which I still can't answer for. But I I have so many resources at the end of this game and such an ugly farm because of all this. But oh well, it happens. But yeah, I I, I like can't even make points here. By the way, like nothing I do is points. Um, everything just sucks. Um, I guess maybe I shouldn't have stabled so early. Maybe I could have built a clay room, but yeah, like everything sucks. How does Pro Hell get points? Pro Hell needs food. I just blocked a labor. Uh, sure. I I don't even need to think about this game anymore. This one, this one, this one really sucks. This one really sucks. Uh, we're gonna lose a lot of elo, a lot of elo. Uh, anyhow, sorry, I was talking to the, I'm talking to the other people a little bit. I'm definitely a bit salty about this one, but, oh, well, anyhow. Uh, I didn't even lose this by this much. 38 freaking won this game, but Lushkin totally won, so... These are, I mean, everybody blocked each other terribly, but yeah, 28 is horrible for me. I, I don't know the last time I've got 28, but if, if I don't get fence blocked, I just like win this game. Uh, I got four points of stables, but so instead of four points of stables, I fence nine spaces and make two pastures. So I go from negative one on pastures to two. So three points and nine points. It was a 12 point fence. So eight points on fencing alone. I mean, maybe I don't quite win this game, but I go instantly, instead of the four-point move, I have a 12-point move, so eight, plus eight. I just go to 36. Like, it's crazy different. But 
Lushki got headed a ton, but that red block was very clever. I, I, I give it to, yeah, again, I, I give it. Like, I give it to Lushkin that the red block was correct. But again, that, that's what I was sitting there in round 13, right? Like, I kind of knew that's what he should do. I just wasn't sure he would actually go through with it. But it, it was his winning line, and he pulled for it. So, I, to be fair, great move by Lushkin. Great move. Uh, blocking the red fence and really putting the screws on that pressure is great. Pro Hell, you super screwed up by not fencing earlier, which also kind of killed all of us. But uh, what a brutal game. Like, the mistakes that were made at this table, just, I mean, I made some of them, but God, did I get punished in ways I don't think I should have. And how I wish I was in other seats this game again, but oh well. Yeah, you not fencing early. Uh, to be fair, you did hand me growth in round 12, so I can't be that mad about that. That was a big mistake you made, so that was nice for me. But you were pretty tilted after stage one. I mean, your stage one was awful. Trying to run childless in fourth seat, though, is pretty brutal. Um, it's it's very hard to pull off childless from fourth seat. Um, you probably needed to... You probably had to just accept that you had to switch plans when you didn't get three wood in round one, but it is tough to adjust. Uh, I probably wouldn't have tried. But... I'm not sure. Oh, that is the most thinking time I've used in a game in a long time, too, but that's just the most... That was just the worst possible sequence of everything I could have ran into. The fact that Purple... By the way, Purple got second this game, and he, Purple might have been able to win this game, though. If Purple if Purple just plows like he's supposed to, and if Purple takes the boars at a certain point or whatever... Like, Purple... Purple threw away a lot of value this game as well. Um, I think Purple maybe somehow remarkably does win the game on the back of all this nonsense that everybody else is engaging in, trying to punch each other. This is why punching each other in games is just nowhere near as good as just playing your own game, usually, by the way. But uh, this is why you're supposed to not put yourself in a position to be easily punched, though. Like, you have to avoid that. Uh, this is why, I mean, I was super worried about the wood tempo this game. And I, I just, we haven't, I haven't run into this in revised usually because most people are fencing early enough. But Pro Held pushing off his fencing and then me having to push off my fencing was just brutal. You always learn new stuff from you and Lumen. Keep on streaming. I'll keep streaming, but that one was that one was rough. You started learning on BJ. That's cool. Um, take take start player to guarantee that. I mean, I again, I was gonna take start player probably in round thirteen. I, like as soon as I see Lushkin fence, I'm always gonna start because I know how brutal things could be in a second. But the fact that Purple took start player there. And then, and then Lushkin responded by fencing, like just put the screws on everyone. But not taking SP is the first thing that you learned, and taking wood. Yeah, well, and see, that's what was pro. That's what was so frustrating about this game, Pro Hell Two. Like I was in totally the worst seat again. Lushkin start players too much. Purple start players too much. You're smart enough to not start players, so. It, it, I, I'm, I'm getting a little sick of these games recently where a couple people know what's actually up and others don't. Like, you actually draft correctly and you don't hand so much value to the players after you, whereas these guys, the main effect of a lot of their start players was to hand value t down the table, which is so frustrating. And Reedstone food, yes. I mean, learning to just take the good actions on the board is important. Um, a lot of why I'm not impressed by some of these other players' games is they took pretty bad actions. I mean, again, ultimately, all of these scores, to be honest, are pretty awful. Like, if I just get to... If I get to start player into red fence, right? I'm missing a four-point red action. I'm missing a 12-point fence action. Or, like... And instead, I had to take a four-point stable action. Like, I easily should be able to hit, like, 40-something this game. But, I mean, not easily because I got put into last in both of the last rounds i guess this plow was too greedy i i guess i had to just start player but i just never imagined purple would start player in 13 he had a four point bore action a four point bore action he skipped a four point bore action how am i supposed to predict that shit ah whatever 
Uh, if Lush can start players, is that better for me? So if Lush can start players into red fence, it's totally better for me because Pro Hell will just fence in round 13 and then I'm fine. I mean, maybe I get Reno blocked still, but I at least get, I don't get fence blocked. And that's, fence blocking is really what cost me the game. I mean, Reno blocked was a bit sad, but it was whatever. I, again, I could have just read out, like, the real truth is maybe I was, like, I sat there a long time, and looking at these scores, the one thing that maybe I was supposed to do, I could have just built the stupid stables in round 13, and just read out in round 13, and accepted what was coming, and if I do that, I at least get to take the boars, and I wind up with another point of boars, or maybe two point of boars, I do wind up with a reno, so I get another four points there, so I could have had four or more points off of the reno, could have had another point or two of boar, then probably could have taken another animal type instead of throwing away my late action. So, like, I could have accepted that my I was getting fence blocked and just gone for salvage operation. And salvage operation probably gets me to, like, 36 here, which apparently 36 is good enough, but who would have known that? Do noobs have more effect on results in Agricola than TM? I would guess so, yeah. Noobs can throw stuff around a lot, which is why I've been trying not to play with noobs. I've been trying to play with good players, but even good players at BJ are not actually good. Ugh. Uh, was your clay plus reno into three clay fireplace good? Oh my god, totally. I said it was so good at the time. It was so clever. And I honestly don't think he even necessarily should have taken the sheep. Because I don't think it benefited him that much. But, I mean, that was just another, like, crazy block in the game. And that's also part of how Lushkin wins this game, right? Like, the real winner of that sheep nonsense was Lushkin. Because he just got to grow that round. Which was absolutely nutty. But, um... But you gave up fourth room. I don't think fourth room would have even been good for you this game. There's so many rooms in this game. Why build a room? Just build a farm. Like, again, this is a classic problem. But when Wish for Children comes late, building a bunch of rooms and fighting for growth sucks. It's not how you win. The way you win is to make a good farm. The, anybody wins this game if they just build a good farm. You only need f you only need 39 points to win this game. Like, you could have never grown your family in this game and won the game, honestly. Like, I would have had a better game if I just never grew my family and I just built a farm on all of you jokers. Like, I totally win this game with just doing that strategy. Like, it's not even... It's just not even... I, I, I guarantee you I can get 40 points without growing my family in this game. Like... You just plow a bunch early and you fence early. You play like your big country and you just don't have a big country, but you'd still win. Like <laughs> uh, now, again, you can't trust that your opponents are going to score thirty-eight as their high score. Like that's that's not typical at all. But there is so much value that was thrown away at this table. But we got very blocky, so it happens. I mean, ultimately, this was a really good game to watch in terms of we did not see a lot of the highest power ox. We had no plow help, and so plows were stupidly tight this game. Fencing was stupidly tight because everybody had to take wood and then try to fence late. Um, and we don't see those games a lot of times in Revised. So this is very different, and it's tough for people to navigate that. And look, I'm the big loser on it, to be fair. Um I knew how dangerous it was for me to have bad wood tempo throughout the game, but I, I mean, I didn't realize it was this dangerous, but oh well. Sorry for making my games a misery. Like, it's okay. It's just been tough. All of my streams recently, I have not, like, they've just been brutal. Like, this one felt very... I mean, I got lucky on a few points, too, so whatever. Just nobody, nobody was getting their preferred action sequences, which is part of why everybody was... In, in misery too but uh anyhow deranged do you think i beat purple and make third if i just sacrifice yeah i probably yeah i'm not sure you, i think you i can reliably put up 40 without growing at all yeah and as lumen says you can reliably get low 40s if your opponents are trying to grow if everybody else tries to grow and i'm not i can reliably hit low 40s now the problem is pretty much everybody else should probably win but I can very reliably hit low 40s without growing, without playing any card. Like, I mean, I'd play some cards, but like, you could give me almost any hand, and I should be able to hit low 40s. Um, it's really, it's really, it really should not be an issue. And honestly, this game, it totally would have been right. There was animal pairs all the time. The main, the main problem with hitting a high score when you're going very low action game is you need to be able to get animal pairs because animal pairs are just so many points once you're able to take them and breed them. 
Um, but there were animal pairs all the time. There was, you know, crazy. There, there was a what? It was a four boar action that I swept in the final round, right? That was four boar in round thirteen that nobody was taking. Like, how how is nobody taking four boar in round thirteen? Well, to be fair, again, I think purple should have, right? I'm yelling at purple because he's passing up a four point action. But um, whatever. You did not fence in time, so that kind of costed both of us the game. Well, yeah, so, I mean, that's the other thing, Pro Hell, right? Like, you put more fence pressure in this game than there should have been. Um, I was yelling, like, you took a very greedy plow action in round 12 rather than just growing. I would have grown, just blocked me, taken fence on the wheel. I would have fenced in round 11, actually, to be fair. You not fencing in round 13 was pretty stunning to me because the animals were definitely going to be piled up and ready for round 12. Like, y you should have won this game, in my opinion, Pro Hell. Um, I think you would have had a pretty easy path if you just fenced earlier and then actually been able to get animal points. But uh, maybe you should stop trying to win and just try to improve your scores with fundamentals instead of fighting to grow. Yeah, so Lumen's exactly correct. The problem is... The problem is you do need to grow to compete in most games. Again, like, what's the chance that I win a game with a low 40s? What's the last time I've scored less than 40 in a game, right? Like, if you're playing, like, strong players, you can't you can't go into games trying to win them with 40s. So that's, like, it's not actually true that I could have tried to, like, gone and won this. Like, I can't, I can't actually try to win this game on two family members from the get-go, like, because I'm not sure it's going to work. But, like, games should just not be won with 40s. This game, again, just has so many, like, mistakes happening throughout it that everybody's killing themselves in, which is just atypical in the extreme. Like, usually somebody can put together a good game and not screw it up. But everybody screwed up their games uh, pretty badly. Um, and so this is what happens. Um I just, I just, uh, that one sucks because maybe it's just conceited of me, but like, I feel like I did not make that many mistakes. I, there's definitely one or two moments I would probably take back. There's a, just a couple of things I'd like to clean up, but God, everybody else, I have much more complaints about what they did, but, uh, it happens. It happens, but yeah. You wanted sleeping corner too much? Yeah, you did want sleeping corner too much. You indeed did. Uh, the thing is that your scores are usually in the 30s and very low 40s. Yeah, but so to be fair to Ranged, like suggesting that fundamentals are to take two family members and run that game plan, that's nonsense, right? The fundamentals of Agricola are to build a room and feed efficiently and build a farm. That That's the fundamentals. You need to learn how to grow, feed efficiently, build a farm. That's how you win. All the other stuff happens in the, like, in-betweens. Like, a lot of the other stuff is in there. Learning how to play a two-family member game and try to, like, put up a good score that way, that's not fundamentals. That's, like, fancy. That's kind of fancy shit. And that's what Lumen was getting at. Like, the only way you can win on two family members is you have to be very subtle about, like, what actions you're taking and how you're suddenly, like, messing with the board and making sure nobody gets away with too much value. And that involves a lot more look-ahead. Uh, like it's, it's, it's not actually that easy, but anyhow, uh, that was a lot. I am probably going to head off, but I might try to play one more in a sec, uh, because I'd like to play one more, but also my quest to get number two just took a massive hit. 33 is going to take me literally like four or five games to clean up. Uh, taking fourth place is what really kills you in any of these things. Like I normally can avoid, I can normally at least get second, but uh, yeah, this is this is the worst result I've had in a long time. But uh, I probably can't hit number two in time anymore. Would be my guess, um, especially as number two keeps getting farther and farther away. But uh, yeah, that was that was just a brutal game. I, it's crazy to me that Purple probably should win this game if he just takes the right actions at the end. Like if Purple just plows. Instead of taking those cow action, Lushka doesn't get his plow. It's crazy to think that that's actually how it probably should have gone. But, oh well. Anyhow, uh, thanks all for hanging out and chatting and stuff. It was a wild, wild one. Very wild one. Um, maybe I'll come back in about 20 minutes and maybe we can get... Uh, 
maybe we could get lucky if uh, maybe we could get lucky and wind up at a table where uh, we just have a stupidly good game because everybody hands us everything again. Maybe we'll be after the fool that start players too much and hands all the value to the players after them. But uh, we'll see. Uh, you don't know. Won't I win if purple took that action? If purple plows? If purple plows, I don't win. I'm saying purple Purple start players opens plow so. Lushkin opens red fence and then purple plows. Purple purple took two cows instead of plow. Um, so you'll play and hand you stuff. Yeah, see, I don't trust you, Lumen. You're not going to hand me stuff. No, again, it's just like, I don't, t like... I think Pro Hell's seat was probably the best in that game. Like, I just think Lushkin and Teal were worse players. Like, Pro Hell, I think, played pretty well throughout that. He messed up at the end by not fencing earlier, and that really cost him a lot of value. But outside of that, um, like, I think just generically throughout that game, Pro Hell, well, I mean, again, Pro Hell had a br brutal start for what he wanted to do. I'll give him that. But I will give that Teal and Lushkin took a lot more actions throughout the game that I think were bad. Teal took a freaking one food fishing action at one point. Uh, Lushkin had to not grow in order to fix his food, and Lushkin also had to take like a three food fishing at one point. Like, these are not good actions. So, I just want to be in that seat again. That's what I want. I want to be sitting after the players that can't feed well and can't do what they're supposed to. Not after the player that doesn't start player and takes wood. Like, I don't want to be in that position. But anyhow, uh, we'll see. Uh, he had a very unfortunate start. He did. Prohel had a Prohel had a gross start. He he could not run childless. And to be fair, it partly turned gross because he tried hard to run childless, right? Like, it's it's a little like as soon as he gave up for childless and he just played his game like it was fine, right? I mean, he he I mean he did greedily play conjurer too and then watched me block his conjurer. But again, that was like it was pretty greedy conjurer point. I was taking three food there regardless, so um But yeah, okay. Anyhow, I'm blabbing too much and I'm complaining too much about luck. I should have done different things too and whatever. So good game, Lushkin, good game others. It's good to have some brutal ones once in a while. It's probably fair to watch me lose once in a while. Uh, but uh, the 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 climb for number two becomes much more difficult. So we will see how that goes. Uh, I'm gonna yeah go do some things, feed my dog, but I will be back probably in a bit. So see ya later.